The 2022 Mazda 3 is a compact car known for its premium-feeling interior, sporty handling and stylish exterior. In 2021 Mazda introduced two engines to round out the Mazda 3 offerings, a 2.0-liter engine to make its base price more attractive and a powerful 2.5-liter turbo for those who want class-leading performance. And it still offers the solid mid-level engine, a non-turbo 2.5-liter engine. As a bonus for buyers who live in cold and wet climates, the Mazda 3 is even available with all-wheel drive. Our editorial team tested a Mazda 3 sedan for a year. We came away impressed with its reliability and upscale interior but desired a bit more performance from the regular 2.5-liter engine. Mazda ditched the previous generation Mazda 3's Ford provided multi-link rear suspension in favor of a torsion beam rear axle, which it shares with the company's CX-30 crossover. The simpler setup in which the beam deforms, twists and flexes, providing a kind of semi-independent suspension is a liability for handling in high-G corners and for stability over roadway deformities, but is lighter and can be a benefit for packaging. It's no stretch to assume cost-cutting was a consideration, although Mazda has said the setup also delivers a more comfortable stop-and-go ride for passengers with fewer neck-bobbing oscillations. Unlike in past Mazda 3S, there's no claim to the street scene here, even the optional front air dam and rear hatch spoiler don't register as sport compact garnish, but as unobtrusive bits of haberdashery. Sophistication not flash, is Mazda's current operational turf. An available appearance package includes rear aero flares, rear skirt, and side sill extensions. The 3 is a master class in simplicity and intuitiveness, the controls are easy to use and fine, helping to keep your eyes on the road. We also like the driving position, everything is within view and almost all drivers should be able to find a setting that they prefer. Visibility in the rear seat, the rear window is small, and the rear side pillars create large blind spots. While proper mirror placement helps, backing out of a parking spot requires more awareness and concentration than it should. While we largely praise the front seat experience, the back seat is tight. There's enough headroom, but legroom and shoulder room are below segment average, plus you have to duck when getting in or out. Support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay comes standard, controlling the interface with a rotary dial instead of a touchscreen takes some getting used to, but it works after practice. Onboard navigation is a functional standalone option for those who live in areas with poor cell phone reception. A suite of active safety equipment, which includes adaptive cruise and collision mitigation comes standard. But some systems can be overzealous in their warnings, and the adaptive cruise has difficulty braking smoothly, fortunately you can adjust these systems individually. Mazda vehicles tend to have pleasing driving dynamics, and that's true of the three hatchback. Above average horsepower and acceleration make quick work of merges and on ramps, while proper feedback from the brake pedal adds to a sense of control during typical driving and confidence during panic stops. The same goes for the steering and handling, though not thrilling, both are pleasant in the daily grind. At our test track, even the standard 2.5-liter four-cylinder impressed with an 8.2-second sprint to 60 miles per hour. But the optional turbocharged 2.5-liter engine is a whole new ballgame, willing the 60-time way down to 6.1 seconds. It's a refined turbo too, with minimal lag and an abundance of readily available thrust. You don't need to floor it, just a gentle prod of the gas pedal makes quick work of passing or merging. It's not a radical car, the Mazda 3 and on one level that's disappointing. We'd like to see Mazda pushing into hybrid and electric technology by now. This is an engineering and design-led firm, and it would be good to see it leading. Instead we have a very regular hatchback with a couple of petrol engines, one of which is rather limp, the other fiendishly clever. And that's an increasingly tough sell when the world is falling headlong for electric right now. There's little cynicism here, instead the details have been worked to improve the driving and ownership experience little by little. The interior design and comfort, the low noise intrusion, the supple ride and handling. 
and below that the small things have been done well the cabin lighting, the switchgear operation and so on.